I just had an idea. I, I wanted something for my green reading. The perfect putter helps you practice perfect. It really teaches perfect alignment. If you match speed with perfect alignment, you're going to make a lot of putts. It gives me immediate feedback of whether or not I've pushed the ball or pulled the ball. You break the device out, and within a minute or two, you can be hitting a 5, 10, 15 foot putt and know exactly what the putt's doing. We have more than 100 uh, PGA Tour players that have purchased the device. When I was playing, I always wanted to be a better putter, so I was trying to understand what makes a good putter. There's a lot of mathematics and physics around the shape of it. It's a ramp that'll roll the ball perfectly, and I would miss low every time. I wasn't reading enough break into the putt. I grew up in Spain. That's where I, that's where I learned the game. Came to the United States with a scholarship to go to um, high school in uh, Bradenton, Florida. Played collegiate golf at UNC, North Carolina, and then I played uh, nine years uh, professionally. 40% of the shots that we hit in golf are, are putting, so uh, whoever's making the putts is usually the players that are winning golf tournaments. So my dad's an engineer. I just told him, hey, I need something that can re recreate the, the perfect role every time and that I can control speed and line. And he's like, oh, I can make something for you. So we made a few prototypes and, you know, it was amazing how well they performed. I've known Ramon since when I was playing on the mini tours. You know, everybody would give him these weird looks out on the green, like, what's this thing that he's got? And it's become a lot more mainstream now. Until I met Ramon, I always thought that, that putting was something you were either born as a putter or not. Gave it a try and, and really loved how simple it was. It just gave me confidence and made my putting a lot better. The Perfect Putter is the only device that allows you to always work on those four aspects of putting, green reading, alignment, speed and stroke, when you're uh, throwing balls with your hand or even hitting putts, you can't recreate the same role every time. If we hit the gate like that, it could either be a push or, or your, your aim was a little bit too far right. The gates are, I mean, to me, they're, they're my favorite drills. That was something that I always did during my practices. They give me a very good visual. I can set up a couple and I can try to visualize the correct line. The laser is something that we, you know, we, we've always had in mind. We always wanted to add, and then, and then once we brought it to the market, you know, we wanted to test the interest, and everybody, you know, everybody loved it. And I think, you know, amateurs obviously uh, can benefit the most. What became most helpful for me is once I get the right line, am I aiming on the right line? And it turned out that I wasn't. It's the easiest way to get better at golf. I think. Our green reading is a skill. The more you practice, the, the better you get, but with the proper equipment. You, you play good on the course because of what you do in practice. If you practice perfectly, you're going to more often than not do it well on the golf course.